Hey guys, it's Ella here. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own reptile slash small animal hides. In this video, I'll be doing two different methods. Both are super easy, don't take a long time to make, and really cool looking. They're also super inexpensive, which means you'll be spending around a dollar to make each hide. For the first hide, you'll be needing a baking sheet, some parchment paper, vegetable or olive oil, flour, salt, and water. You'll also be needing a mixing bowl and something to mix with, Krylon matte finish spray, and Krylon make it stone or any other Krylon paint you want. The next thing you're going to want to do is take two cups of flour, one cup of salt, and just stir this until combined. Next, you're gonna mix in one cup of water. After this is mixed, add one and a half tablespoons of your olive or vegetable oil. Stir these ingredients until they're combined. It should start to thicken up and you'll get a dough-like consistency like this. Next, take your parchment paper and line the surface of your baking sheet. Take two oven-safe bowls and coat them in a pretty thin layer of oil. Next thing you wanna do is roll out your dough to about a half inch thickness and lay it on your hide. You can pretty much make whatever shape you want, just don't make it too thick and don't forget the entry hole. Once you're done shaping your hides, put them in the oven at 250 degrees and bake them for around 45 minutes to an hour. Once they're done, they should pop out of the bowl pretty easily, except for mine, it was too thick. If they're still sticky, feel free to put them back in the oven again for another hour. Once the hides are rock solid, you're gonna wanna take your Krylon matte finish spray and spray the inside and outside of your hides, making sure to get all the cracks and crevices. This waterproofs the hide and blocks any liquids from coming through. Once the first few coats of your matte finish are dry, take your Krylon Make It Stone and spray the outside of your hide. Make sure to get around at every angle because I missed a few angles and it didn't look too great. Once your stone layer is dry, take your matte finish spray again and spray the inside and outside of the hide. Here's how the hides turned out. I didn't do the best job painting it, but I can probably go over that. Basically, just wait at least 36 hours before putting it in with any animal. And yeah, that's basically it. For the next hide, all you'll be needing is a container, water, and toilet paper. Start by taking some water and coating the outside of the mold. You can run this under water, but I decided to use a sprayer, which wasn't the best option because it got my table super messy. Take your strips of toilet paper and just wrap it around your hide until it creates a nice thick layer. Keep repeating this until your hide is pretty thick. 
You can also add little rocks or designs on your hide by taking little strips, bunching them up, putting them on the hide, and coating it again with more layers of tissue. Keep spraying the hide with water until it's completely soaked and you have a nice amount of tissue. Let your finished hide sit in a nice sunny place for about two days. This is what your dry hide should look like. You should have no problem getting it off the container. Once it's off, take some scissors and cut an entryway for the hide. If your hide has little flaps like this, soak it again and let it dry. This is what my finished hide looks like. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment what videos I should do next. Bye guys! Okay, so apparently, you're supposed to put the toilet paper away once you're done with it. And I did not do that, so my dog got to it. So as a note, put your toilet paper away.